Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I want to kind of give you an update on my channel and what I've been up to. And after I make this brief video, I am going to do another reading. And um, this is how simple it is, why I haven't done this. Because I am super busy all day long. I work until about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And then I want to get into my pajamas, and I didn't want to come to the YouTube channel in my pajamas, but tonight I just decided, screw it, I'm coming to you in my pajamas. It's 1130 at night, but I want to get this out, and I want to get this reading done. I haven't talked to you since I did the Pelt Camp panel, and I know many of you are curious about that. The panel was really good once it got started. It was a little bit of a chaos. And in fact, there was a bit of a mix-up because I had my Skype recorder on when I connected with Donna Gilmore and Dr. Caldecott. But the technology people didn't get there till 10 minutes after our time started. So it was supposed to start at 2.20 and we just said, okay, we're starting. We were waiting for them and I had my laptop on and the room was packed. There was probably 50 people there. They put us in a small room. And um, it was very interesting because I turned my laptop around so the audience could at least see Donna Gilmore and Dr. Caldecott. And they could hear them. And then the tech, Mimi German was talking about her activism and, you know, why we have this urgency in the Northwest to get actively engaged. And then, boom, right in the middle of it, like five minutes into her spiel, because we we decided like at 2.25 to just get going, right? So they arrived at 2.30 and bumbled and mumbled around, broke into Mimi's thing, and so she stopped talking. And they didn't have the right hook for this. They didn't have the right speakers, blah, 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 blah. It took him 10 minutes to get his hook back up. In the meantime, Dr. Caldecott and Helen were still messing around with their technology. So we got going at 2.40. Um, Donna spoke for 15 minutes. Dr. Caldecott spoke for 20. People asked questions, but they weren't questions. It was kind of like one guy said, well, what do you think is going to happen if somebody gets a, a, a terrorist was to get a hold of some nuclear waste? Like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is that a question I would ask Dr. Caldecott or Donna Gilmore? Not me. Um, my question is, how the hell do we get millions of people to care about this? But, you know, Dr. Caldecott keeps going, come on, we can do it. Go out there and go do it. It's up to you. And people go, yeah, right, and walk out the room. So, but anyways, it was quite fascinating. It was really good. Helen Caldecott unequivocally said, don't eat anything out of the Pacific Ocean. Don't go to Japan. It's a terrible calamity. Um, Doc, Donna Gilmore was just uh, highlighting about how horrible uh, the canisters are, the cast that we store our nuclear waste in, uh, going over some of the catastrophic things that have happened and are happening in regards to that. Um, Jana Thrift from Occupy Eugene is the videographer for them and she actually videotaped everything. So that's the good part. We should be having a video out in the next day or two. So um, I did ask her to clip out that part where Mimi got interrupted by the technology people so that they wouldn't, you guys wouldn't have to watch all of us bumbling around for five minutes trying to, if, if she can, and I don't know if, she, you know what, she's a great videographer, I'm sure she'll figure it out, but, uh, so that's good, so we will have some type of a video of the event, and, um, I actually didn't get a chance to ask them a question. I did speak about St. Louis a little bit because that really breaks my heart. I am quite impassioned about uh, the, I don't know, I think that this is affects all of us. What's happening in St. Louis happens to all of us. That's how I feel as Americans. Um, what else? I'm gonna be doing another reading 
And I don't think I showed you all this stuff that I gave out, so let me do that. So let's see. This is Bob McCullough's, uh, Nancy Newell, like literally made color copies of these. She made up six of them to give out. And we, we had three or four left. There was only one or two people who wanted them, but it was why the Columbia Generating Station should be closed down. It's his latest report that might get the Columbia Generating Station closed down. And of course it's not for human reasons, it's for financial costs. That's the only thing they care about. And then um, as people walked in, we gave them these three things, right? Or four things actually. We gave them a brochure from No Nukes Northwest, a little handout pamphlet that I made up very quickly. Had that cut out. We gave them this. This is what the symposium was. So this is Dr. Caldecott's contact, Donna Gilmore, Mimi German. And that was our room. And once again, you know, it's funny, I am not the best at self-promotion. I probably should have put down the Age of Fission radio show or Nuts for Art on my YouTube channel. But I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me to put any of my own stuff on there. So, oops, that's why I probably need people to help me get this done so they'll remind me. So this is what we gave out for Donna's discussion because this is what she was talking about, the casts. She was talking about the thin weight casts and how the some of the casts are just welded shut and some of them are bolted shut and if they're bolted they're thick so you can see on here can you see the w's all those are welded and those are all those w's are half inch thick containers so i suggest people go to donna gilmore's page and get this it's in every state and then we gave out this also. I gave this out. Donna suggested I print out this one. I went to her page and picked this out because this sort of speaks volumes. I thought this would be easy. Graphs are easy. So I gave that to give out. And then I did make a copy of Thomas Ackerman's work to give out as a poster. And you know which one I did, right? I gave this out. I actually put Tom's name on there because I wanted him to have credit. So, because it is a poster, at least it had to have something. That's what I thought anyways. I had to make some decisions since I did this all by myself. But uh, I'm gonna give these out. Now, this is part of the update. This is why I've been really busy. I did this and then I've been talking to people about getting together um, here in town, the 311. I don't want to call it a protest. I'm calling it a Fukushima disaster awareness event. <laughs> How's that for wordiness? <laughs> Fukushima disaster awareness event. I don't know. I, I thought I tried to figure out an acronym for all that, but I just couldn't. I'm like, whatever, screw it. We're just going to do that. I did get CALC, which is Community Alliance of Lane County, and uh, Rick Gold from... Eugene Peace Works, you know, you've met Rick Gold. He's the guy who's protested him and his group with us up on Salem about Fukushima. So he's going to, they're going to join us. We're going to be at the library downtown Eugene at 11 o'clock. I like the library. I think that we should encourage everyone to do their uh, events at the library because then we can tell the people, look, don't count on us. Go in the library and research it yourself. So... That's happening this Saturday, 311 at 11, uh, here in Eugene, Oregon. And I'm sure there's plenty of events. This time I am gonna videotape it. I'd be much, you know the, the sad part about this Skype is that I actually brought a camera and because the technology people were late and it was just getting so hectic, we were all so nervous about it and I was helping Dr. Caldecott and Donna with their technology, I completely forgot about my camera. So that's all right. Hopefully next year we'll do it again and it'll be uh, more organized and better. 
And hopefully by next year, 311, they will have stopped it. Somebody will have like uh, decided that it's really important that they're going to go there and just, I don't know, free the sign. That's what, that's the, that's actually what I'm going to make a, a poster that says, free the scientists, free scientists. Scientists need to be free to fix this. They need to not have uh, pro-nuke considerations. That is the very fundamental core. What did they call this, the nuclear scare? Like they don't want people to be afraid of nuclear, so they want us to get accept it. And I don't think we ought to accept it. I think certain things are unacceptable. And having to live with nuclear pollution for the rest of our days until our species is all killed off, not acceptable. So, uh, I'm going to be out there on 311. So, what else is new on the channel, folks? I don't know. Anyways, I also have been uh, sort of sidetracked about the whole political thing going on in our country. It's beyond comprehension that anybody who's an anti nuker can support Trump. Uh, you know, he's going full-fledged out on nuclear. He's putting in the pipelines. He's bringing XL pipelines in. He's letting the coal companies dump their waste. I mean, they're they're doubling down on the toxic pollution, folks. We're going to see children dying like we did in the 70s. It's sad. Uh, so that just means we have to take care of ourselves better and our families. So I'm going to get to reading. I want to do a reading tonight before we ha I head off to Dreamland. And uh, we'll be seeing the video on the symposium in a couple days, probably, from Jana. And I don't know. Put your courage feet on you guys. I'm talking to Crow tomorrow, who is the shaman that I interview on my radio show. Uh, I'm going to talk to him about a lot of this. and I mean, I know the answer is just to go internal, and maybe that's what I need to do is do some drumming. Because the uh, march to fascism is stunning what's happening in our country. And this is exactly how it happens. And it's it's not rocket science. I mean, they're just using the tools that they know work. The only way they're not going to work is if we're smarter. So I encourage us to be smarter. <laughs> so put your courage feet on you guys and uh, do something on 311, please, in your town. It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter who shows up. Be the one who shows up, okay? It's six years of them ignoring the worst catastrophe on the planet. We have got to demand our scientists be free and our military help out figure out how to stop that gaping, bleeding wound that's in our earth. So put your courage feet on, you guys. Ciao.